Hey what's up guys, I'm Linux here and welcome back to a brand new Unity tutorial here on the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do basic teleportation in Unity. It is pretty easy to do and after watching this video you will know how to do it. So if you do enjoy or you do find this video useful, be sure to leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. Also don't forget to turn on notifications and yeah, I'll heavily appreciate that. So how about now we get right into this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get out a cube and this cube is going to be one of our sender nodes because we're going to have a senders and receivers that's how we're going to make this teleportation work so what we're going to do with this is we're just going to like a, turn it into sort of like a little teleporter thing so we've got like the teleporter platform thing here All right. And then we're going to add a, we're just going to make it a trigger as well. You could even just, um like, if you wanted to use this as a platform you could stand on, you can. And then you could maybe, like, um just uh, add the trigger on top or something, I don't know, of the object. But you could just make the object the trigger itself if you want to, like I'm doing here. But yeah. Alright, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to rename this, we're going to call it the sender. And then we're going to have a receiver um, over here as well, just right next to it. And I'll tell you guys why in a bit. So we'll just call this thing receiver. Alrighty. So now with the receiver, what you want to do is you want to actually add an empty game object to it. And also you don't uh, need to have it as a trigger either. You can like turn off whatever triggers you have on and off. Just gonna call this the destination. All right, so this here is the destination of where we're going to uh, teleport. Not from this teleporter, uh, a teleporter over there. So we're just gonna like, and the reason why you want to have like the destination um, like a bit up from the teleporter itself is so then when the player does teleport to this location, uh, they don't phase through the ground because there'll be times right where I will like have a player teleport somewhere. And I might accidentally have like the destination, this transform right in the ground, and then that will make the player fall through the ground. So you want to always have it above the ground, so then, yeah. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put another sender over here. And then another receiver. Alrighty, so now we can like jump back and forth from these uh, two different islands, I guess you could say. So how about now we look into the scripting, because I think we're all done here, if I'm not forgetting anything, but yeah, so <laughs> how about now we get into the script. So I've already got this script written out, in fact I did a take before where I was writing out this script, so that's why it's already written out. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to read out this script line by line and explain what it all is. So the first couple lines here are just standard as part of the Unity scripts as you guys know. And so here we have our public transform. Now, what we've got here are our player and destinations transform. So you want to have that. And then also we've got the player game object. So when the player collides with the uh, sender, the sender teleporter, the player game object will get set to false. And then the player will teleport to the destination. And then what happens is the player will turn back on. Now the reason why you have to turn the player off is because for some reason uh, the, the player won't teleport. If you try to do this line you have to actually have the player off first before you do it and then you just like have another line of code which just turns them back on right afterwards. But yeah, so that's basically that script. It's pretty easy. Nothing like too advanced at all. Alright, so now we're going to put this in here. And then you want to just drag everything you need to, so the player, for example, and stuff like that. And then we're going to add this receiver's destination, and by this receiver, I mean this one over here. And we want to get our player game object again, and boom, we're done. So now we're going to go to the other sender, and we're going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to add the script. And then for the destination, this time you want to add the uh, the other one, this receiver. 
And then we're going to get the player transform and then the player game object. And now for the moment of truth, let's see if this all works out. Alrighty. Um, nope, didn't work out. I don't know if the trigger's too small or something. We'll have to just see. I think it may just be too small, really. Um, hold on. Right, so what I've done here is I've just increased the size of the triggers, so hopefully that does help out. And if it doesn't, then it's some other issue which I'll have to fix. Which it does look like that, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Alright, make sure you have a rigid body on your uh, character, guys. I think this might be the problem that I don't have a rigid body right now, so we'll try to do that and uh, see if that helps. Because you want to always have a rigid body on the object that you're getting to collide into a trigger. So now let's hope that this works, and if it doesn't then, yeah, oh, and it works. So as you guys can see, I just teleported over here, and I'll do the same again, and boom. So yeah, the sender nodes work, and then you end up on the receiver end. Alright, so anyways guys, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. What did you all think? Did you think this was pretty easy? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Also, sorry if you heard uh, echoing throughout this whole video, it's just I'm getting my room painted at the moment, and so there's no furniture in here, which causes, you know, a bunch of echoing and stuff like that. Alright, so again guys, tell me what you thought about this tutorial in the comments below. And uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye-bye.